Good morning, Tigers. Today is Tuesday, April the 13th. Good morning, Mrs. Matthews. How are you? I'm great. Good morning, Mrs. Miller. Good morning, Tigers. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart, ready to begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And you may be seated. Now for today's sports report. Good morning, Tigers. Instead of our normal sports report, I'll be talking about how the UCLA Bruins basketball team made it to the Fab Final Four. After losing their last four games of the season, the the Bruins were invited to March Madness and had to play in the first four to earn a spot. No one thought the Bruins would go farther than the first four. Except Miss Linton. The Bruins beat Michigan State to advance to the first round. They beat BYU, advancing to the second round. In the second round, they destroyed Abilene Christian to advance to the Sweet 16. By this point, everyone, and now you mean everyone, thought this would be the end of the road. The Bruins defeated Alabama to advance to the Elite Eight. Now everyone is shocked. The Bruins played Michigan, the number one seed in their bracket, and to everyone's surprise, the Bruins narrowly beat Michigan by just two points. Now UCLA has made it to the Final Four, the first time since 2008. They are to meet the they are to meet the number one team in the country, the undefeated Gonzaga Bulldogs. The last time these two teams met. The Bruins surprised everyone with an upset victory over the Bulldogs. The question on everyone's mind was, would this be a repeat upset or would the Bulldogs get their revenge? This game went down to the wire. And unfortunately, after taking the game to overtime, the Bruins lost by three points. When Gonzaga threw up, when Gonzaga threw up a Hail Mary shot that no one believed would go in. Talk about a heartbreak, especially for Miss Linton. The UCLA Bruins proved that they deserve to be a part of the March Madness and won the blue and gold hearts of so many. Congrat congratulations to the UCLA Bruins basketball team. Today is Gratitude Day. Time to think about what we're grateful for. Mrs. Matthews, any ideas? Of what I'm grateful for? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm grateful for all my good friends and for everybody that's working here at SOEC so hard um, to make the change in our schedule great for everybody because it's going to be a change for everyone, whether they're staying remotely uh, to do their learning or whether they're coming to school. So that's very, that. And that's very exciting. And that change is going to happen next week. So for students that are uh, signed up for morning classes, the classes will start depending on the grade level at eight o'clock and end at 11. And if students are signed up for an afternoon class, their class, again, depending on the grade level, it could start from 12 to three o'clock. So something very, very different. Uh, but we do have a couple of reminders for our students uh, for next week. So what are some things that our students need to remember to have ready? Well, one of the things you're going to need is your iPad and definitely your charger. So you wanna make sure that we have, have that at school so that we can make sure that we're able to use our iPads at school. That's very important. What else, Mrs. Miller? Oh, well, definitely want to make sure that you have a mask and that you wear a mask every single day uh, while you're here at school in person or if you're at home uh, doing, continuing with remote learning anytime that you go out, whether it's to the store uh, or even for a walk around the neighborhood, please make sure that you're wearing a mask. Always good to have more than one. Yes, and also our water fountains here at school have been closed off. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you have water with you. 
And the most important thing is uh, making sure that it's labeled. So even if you're using just a regular, you know, a water bottle that you get from the store, I don't know if you can see that. Yes. Not, you can even write on it with, you know, a Sharpie or something. You can write your name on it, but it's very important that it has your name on it because we're all going to be bringing water bottles and they all kind of look the same. So we want to make sure that yours uh, has, has your name on it and that you do that every day that you bring your water bottle. Uh, that's very important. Absolutely. With something to think about, this is Principal Miller and Mrs. Matthews. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Is yours. <laughs>